Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Software Testing. My name is still Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here today. You have seen it in the title. Today is all about test management and test management with an AI feature and I think it's worth showing you on my channel. If you would like to support me leave a like, leave a share, leave a subscription as always and Without further ado, let's jump right into the topic. Because today I would like to show you or give you an update on the Tracentis test management for Jira. Maybe you have seen my video that I've done one year, almost one year ago, about Tracentis test management for Jira, where I was showing you how easy it is to integrate the plugin into your Jira setup for your test management purposes, being it requirements engineering, test case creation, test case execution, reporting and so forth and so forth. And now it's really cool that I can pr provide you one year later the latest AI features that Tricentis has added to the test management plugin. And to be honest, it's really cool and I would like to show you today. So let's take a look. As you can see here on the screen, that's the landing page basically from the Atlassian Marketplace where you can get free access for the Tracentis test management for Jira. Um, it's uh, 30 days free of trial if you would like to try it out. And as I mentioned before, and if you haven't seen my video that I've done in the last year, go ahead and go um, and check this out. I will go briefly over the features that the TTM is offering for you. But today's focus should be on the AI features that they introduced. So what you can do is you can do a um, test management stuff. You can write your requirements. You can link them to your existing user stories, epics, depending on your setup. You can create test cases. You can create bugs. You can create um, reports. You can have a traceability matrix and so forth and so forth. And as you can see already here on the landing page, all the features are really well described. So that's from my point of view, the first touch point for you if you would like to know more about TTM for Jira. Make sure to check the video uh, description down below to get the links that I'm going to show you in this video today. So that's basically the marketplace um, page. If you hit try it for free, it will install on your Jira instance and you can start in a couple of minutes. Um, what is also worth mentioning is always that the Tracentis people, they have done a really great job again on the documentation side of things. So as you can see here, Tracentis test management for Jira is also well documented and you can basically find all the things that you can do with it, like from setup, sharing issues between uh, projects, working with test cases, analyzing test case and so forth and so forth. But I don't want to talk about documentation today. I would like to show you, <clears throat> sorry for that, TTM in action. So let's jump right over to my project that I have uh, usually when I was, uh, when I'm doing something with, with Jira. So as you can see here, it's a sample project. I have a couple of tickets or a couple of user stories here, but nothing to worry about for now, right? So, and if, you, if you're familiar with Jira, that's how it looks like. So once you have TTM installed, you get like, this view on the left hand side and as you can see here there you can find in the app section TTM. The first time you open TTM you get uh, a little wizard where, which is going to tell you like what to do in terms of getting some icons so it looks nicer. So for example the, the test case icon or the requirements icon that you can add into and you can also add some further information for the configuration but doesn't take too much time maybe a minute max yeah so and then we uh, we you're ready to go basically from that point of view so and if you tap on the test management um, entry in the app section you land on this page basically and that's the TTM interface so and uh, the first focus that I would like to show you today is basically the tabs over here so this is the main structure we have the requirements tab we have the test design test execution and reportings. We come to that in a second. And also, as you can see here, I have already prepared some test cases just for, the, for demo purposes for you to show you in the reporting section later on. But as I mentioned in the introduction of the video, I would like to talk about the new AI capabilities that TTM is now offering. So let's jump right into that one. So the first one that TTM is offering is the test case creation. So it can create test cases from your requirements, for example. And as you can see here, I created two 
requirements issues. The first one I called like a named registration form and to give you some context um, I have some 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 little application in mind so being a web portal you have uh, you go to that web page you have a login interface you have a registration form that's it fairly simple just for you to to imagine and and the very first one that I wrote here is the registration form and if we take a look at this one um, I wrote down some 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 descriptions some acceptance criteria what this uh, registration form should have and down below you can already see the linked issues in this case the linked test cases and all the test cases down below i haven't uh, i it wasn't me writing them it was ai and that's the cool part um, so uh, it, what i was just doing is i was just just writing my requirements um, information here i mean this could be better for sure and then i clicked the little button and then ai was doing something for me and that's what i would like to show you today so we have another requirement that I wrote and it's called login page. Let's open the login one here and we open this up and you can see here we have the description. Yeah? So on the login page of the web portal, we have the following elements uh, like a username, password and so forth and so forth. Everything you see over here, right? So that's on the detail side of things. Now, if you close that one and you see I have uh, tapped it or like activated and on the right hand side there is an entry called generate test cases with AI and a big new label. So let's click that one. So you press the button and a window pops up and you can already see it says please wait while the AI analyzes your requirements and there you go. It checks my requirements uh, document and now it's going to start writing the test cases. As you can see, I'm doing nothing. My hands are over here. It's all triggered by AI and I would love to write that fast, to be honest. So let's see what the AI has done for us. So we can already see that we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five test cases. So the very first one is verify login page elements. So AI was reading my, uh, my description of the requirements of the login requirements here. And it says ensure all required elements are visible and functional on the login page. Then we have some precondition users on the login page. I bet you can, you can give some more context in the requirements field over here, maybe like the con concrete URL and stuff like that. And then you can say, okay, check if the username field is visible, expected result, username field is visible and so forth and so forth. So as you can see, these are the, the very first test case that the AI has created. And to be honest, that's fairly good, right? Um, so then let's take a look at the next one. There is a verify login button, button activation because I gave a little context saying, okay, the, um, the button should have a, a logic. It's only enabled in case you have entered username and password. And there you go, there is a test case as well. Then we have a very verify invalid login attempt. So we do like the, the non-happy path so that we use incorrect username and password. Then we have the successful login and we see that we have the registration link functionality as well added. Yeah, and it's, it's just five test cases, but I gave only a little context on the, on the requirement side of you. The longer the requirements document is and the better the document is written, the better and more granular the test cases will get. So that's pretty cool. So let's see, um, hit creating the test cases. So now we are creating the test cases. A test uh, TTM for Jira is now basically, as you can see here, creating all the test cases for me. And then I can skip basically the test cases, um, the test cases um, design section because they're done. Maybe now I can go ahead and, and create new folders. Let's say create a folder for login, clicking enter. And then we can say, okay, we have this one, this one verify login element and I think then we can either say we would like to start a test run or we can move them to a folder and then we go here we move them into the the login folder yeah and then we just would like to execute them yeah so the next step would be then either from here mark the test cases that you would like to execute or go to the text execution um, here and create a new test run yeah but I would like to do it from from that view so we go to the login section, we mark them all, and then we say create a test run, create a new test cycle. Yes, that's what we would like to do is demo two. Very, very good name, right? Um, so we have the planned date. I can assign it to me and then we hit create. And then we can create a test run as simple as it gets. Yeah, and then 
we go to you've created run the test pad or run a test pad. So now we can basically execute them. We are now in the execution um, section of Tracentis Test Management for Jira. And also you can see here, you get the, the test cases that I just marked. And now we can execute them. So we can say, okay, we click on that link. We see that, okay, all good. We can make a comment and then we can say to past. Yeah. And now let's assume there's something wrong, right? So let's see uh, what is the test. Check if the registration form contains required fields and buttons. Um, no buttons are visible. So we, we leave a comment here and we can create a bug from right from the test execution. And if we, you click the little tiny bug icon over here, you can see something again from an AI perspective. We can either say, okay, I would like to create a defect the old fashioned way you get a dialogue and you have to enter all the credentials, all the, the steps to reproduce the topic. You can add it, this to an existing defect in case you already have something and you would like to link the test case to the defect or it says create a defect with AI. And that's the second AI feature that I would like to show you today. And we are pressing this right now. So you click the button, you see the little shiny animation on the button. And then a few seconds later, you can see we have the create issue view opened up. We have the project, we have the issue type bug pre-selected, and then we have a summary. So it says registration link does not open the registration form. And then we have all the things that we, um, that the AI has created. And it says the registration link on the login page does not open the registration form as expected. This issue was discovered during the test run for verifying the registration link functionality. So it gives a really nice explanation. It adds these steps to reproduce, expected actual result. And then it also, <coughs> sorry, gives some additional information. The test run status for this issue is unexecuted. Please investigate the cause for this defect and implement a fix to ensure the registration link functions as expected. And then, cool thing, it also links the test run um, that we that I just created for, for the ticket. And then we can say, okay, we create the bug ticket. And as you can see here again on the overview page, we have now one bug ticket associated with that test execution. And then of course we can mark this one as failed. Yeah. And then we can say, okay, this one is in progress or no, it's not in progress. It's blocked basically. And then we can jump right into the next, um, into the next uh, test case execution. We can say, okay, this one is passed. We'll just do some quick, quick testing over here. It's okay, this one is failed too. Failed, passed and failed. And this one is all passed. So just to change this one over here. And that's it, yeah? And then we go back into the um, test management for Jira overview because I would like to show you now the um, basically the progress. As you can see here, we have different test runs, different um, different results. So this was my first test cycle. Here we have the second test cycle. You can see directly what is passed, what has blocked. So you get a really good overview. And then also in the report section, you can create some reports like a test summary, for example. You can see like the test case creation, how this changed over time, the test execution. Uh, you can also filter some uh, things. You can assign it to people. You also can get reports on the test metrics. Uh, you haven't defined any filters. So let's see, let's get the filter this for this one. So we can create easy test metrics as well for the past execution times. Also from the, from the people who executed something, that's cool. You get an execution progress again. So you can also directly see like what is happening in your testing project among all the other teams working with TTM, for example. And that's super cool. And last but not least, there's also the traceability metrics. And so we can see here that we have like two defects in, in the registration form. We have one defect also created for the login page, the one that I just created with the help of AI. And with that, you get a lot of really cool information around your test management progress, the, the steps that you can do in order to achieve high quality in your project. Yeah. and. That, that was the quick update today for TTM for Jira. Um, um, I showed you the AI creation of the test cases. I showed you the AI creation of the bugs. 
and to be honest it is super fairly easy to use i mean come on if you have a good requirement set in your in your product development um, process maybe your product manager is providing this information you add some additional information and with one single click ai is generating the test cases for you how cool is that right so that's the cool thing and the same thing for the the bug creation yeah and the more context you give of course the better the results are from the ai perspective yeah and so if you would like to try it out go and check the video description down below check out this landing page from the atlasting marketplace where you can get a free uh, access of 30 days for ttm for jira so that's good um as I mentioned, it has a great support in terms of documentation and super easy to use. Yeah, Usually when I try out new features and new products, I try to avoid to read documentation. I just would like to explore it, how it feels from a user's perspective. And that felt really good. And I would love to hear from you, from the community, what do you think about this AI feature? Is this something that you would like to try out? Leave it down below in the comments. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it to support me, spread the word with your network and thanks for coming by. Have a great day. Bye bye.